What's up guys, my name is Robin, and what you're about to see is something that I've been working on uh, for a long time. Well, not that long, but you know, you get it. Uh, what you're about to see is a TV show I did while I made. And um, it runs about 30 minutes. I'm going to upload it twice. The first time is our first take. The second time will be our second and final take. Um, I just want to send a huge thank you to all the people who worked on it. Uh, the crew, which consists of me, Cameron Goslett, Alicia Washington, Deron Anthony, Julio Perez, Lee Shapiro. I want to thank those guys. I want to thank the people on the cameras, uh, which are Eric, Thomas, Marilyn. Thank you for making this come true. Thank you so much. And, uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. And like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Enjoy the TV show. It runs about 30 minutes. So, enjoy it. Welcome everyone to Hey Man, the show where we talk about stuff and do things. I am your host, Eric, and today I have a couple guests with me. Meet Thomas and Marilyn. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, I guess I'm going to say a little... Yeah, introduce yourselves. Yeah, I am uh, I'm Thomas. I, uh, I love music. I love art. I, uh, as you can tell, not very into fashion. Obviously. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> I uh, I am um, I do enjoy long walks on the beach though, mm, so that's good, my favorite thing. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, my name's Marilyn. Um, first, I'm a dog mom. <laughs> Second, I'm a server. Um, I don't enjoy long walks on the beach. It's too Ooh. sandy for me. Um, it gets everywhere. So my <laughs> dog's better than any dog or any child. Don't show off your child to me because my dog's better. Um. I love my job, but also I hate it because I have to just <laughs> smile and wave. It's like yeah. smile and wave, boys, like the penguins off of Madagascar. But at the same time, you just want to punch some people in the face. Sometimes. I know, right? I want to punch I mean? both of you in the face right now. I, I mean, we're ready to do this thing, I think. Uh, I guess. Uh, sand, is it because sand gets like in your ass crack and stuff or like no. what? Okay. Gets in my toes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It gets in some cracks, I guess. Then. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna have a couple of activities laid out for tonight, and hopefully you guys will enjoy everything. When we come back, we will have our first activity involving food. Are you guys ready for that? Let's uh, yeah, do actually, it. yeah, I'm really excited. Ever wished you could turn those dreams and visions into reality? At MediaTek, you can show them to the world.
At Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams, we open our home to you. With touches of beauty and grace, our design elements deliver class and sophistication to your home. Our modern and classic furnishings add luxury and warmth to every room, providing each space with a sense of elegance all its own. Whether you are entertaining company or just spending quality time with loved ones, Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams is there for every occasion. Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams, where comfort and style equal quality. Hey guys, and welcome back to Hey Man, where we talk about stuff and do things. Next time, we're talking about and doing food. All right, so if any time you guys talk about food, you obviously have to talk about your favorite kinds of foods. So what are you guys' favorite kind of food? Uh, for me, I I really have to say sandwiches. Sandwiches, good sandwiches choice right there. any kind. I heard you say doing food. Doing food, yes. Yes. Um, I don't know if I could... Fuck a sandwich. You're not into fucking sandwiches? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe Subway's. <laughs> as long as they're foot long. But, I know, uh, right? <laughs> but they do me. That's weird. That's the weird part. I yeah, don't know how course. they do it. Uh, no, uh, no, sandwiches for sure. Dipping them in soup. Soup? Doing my thing. Yeah. Like broccoli cheese soup. and. You're a weird one. Ah, I love yeah. it. <laughs> uh, it's so good. Stone Soup Cafe. Stone Soup yeah, Cafe. That's the best. Probably check that's it out later. Best. Uh, um, what do you like? I'm going to go with pasta. It's my pasta. favorite food. As long as it doesn't have seafood, I'm going to eat it. No seafood, really? No seafood. Anything mm. that swims, I'm not going to do it. But pasta that swims. is my favorite. Mm. Sure. Interesting. But I'm have you ever tried sushi? It's disgusting. <laughs> sushi All of is the best, stuff. Anything that swims is about. gross. <laughs> I love sushi, though. <laughs> I'm interested in what's on the plates in front yes. of us because yeah. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah. All right. So hopefully, yeah. Will hopefully we, you guys are hungry. We have yeah. an activity called "What the crap am I eating?" You guys what? are trying to go. F you guys are going to try to figure out uh, between two different things if it's vegan or if it's actual meat. How do okay, you I've been a vegan before. Let's how do, do this. How do you guys? You just gotta eat it. How do you? Well, how do you? How feel do you about feel about vegan vegans? Food? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there we are. Oh my, they look exactly Damn the it. same. I thought they were going to look different. I thought this was going to be easier. <laughs> this isn't yeah. easy at all. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Wait, this fork isn't going to work. Can I just, just, just take a bite. Just shove it in your mouth. Yeah. Just take a bite. <laughs> just shove it in your mouth. Shove it in your mouth like you always do. Always. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, that's the first one. Okay. I think it's turkey. You I think watch it's a turkey. lot of Hell's Kitchen. Maybe I'm good at this. Blind <laughs> taste test, right? All right. How about the second one? Some Wait. Master Chef shit over here. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, next. What do you got? Oh my God, they taste exactly the same. <laughs> they taste exactly the same. Mm. You guys can't tell the difference? No, I can't. Okay. This is vegan. You think that, that one's the vegan? Be I'm yeah, kind of think that one is too. It's you a little drier. All, All right, right, so we're going with this one's vegan. All right, nice. All right, vegan. next step. Here we go. Next one. All right. Okay, they still look exactly still the look same. Still look exactly the same. Can't tell by just the looks. Uh, are you guys, like, bullshitting us right now? Like, is this, like, <laughs> are they both just vegan or are they both just... No, one of them's vegan. Know, one, right. No, they're both the exact same. <laughs> go ahead and taste it, man. Yeah, I'm doing... See I'm if you can tell the difference. No, do what? Okay. I don't like eating food from bullshitters. Well, you better get used to it. Oh, that's pretty good. So I'm going to bullshit you all <laughs> night. I don't know. Taste I'm the other scared. one. Mm, no. I don't know. Taste it before I say anything. I feel like that's the vegan one. But maybe that one is. I feel like that one is. <laughs> you feel like that one is? Yeah, it just tastes because exactly the same, <laughs> yeah. man. No, you guys are bullshit. You just you guys gave can us the same shit. You the difference. Shit. Okay. No, y'all gave us the same shit. Why do they have to look the same? I thought they were going <laughs> to look different. This isn't All fair. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just give it one quick bite, and then we'll finish it off right now. 
I don't know how I even feel about vegan food. Here you go. Vegan oh. like, it might, like, Whatever yeah. the hell that anyway, is, I don't like it. it might that's going to be it for the food challenge. Well, and when we I'm come back, we'll be doing something about aliens. Brent's Customs has been providing award-winning custom paint jobs and minor auto body repair for 30 years. Brent's motto is don't just be, be custom. Customizing the world one thing at a time. He loves to restore classic cars to their original glory with a style that's sure to turn heads. He's willing to customize just about anything to give it that unique look. Call Brent's Customs to set your right apart from the masses. Don't just be, be custom. Hey guys, welcome back to Heyman, where we talk about stuff and do things. This time we're talking about and doing aliens. Well, specifically the aliens might be doing him, but whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> when we talk about Wait, aliens, why me? <laughs> you look like the one who, you look very probable. Just going to say that right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when we talk about aliens, she you guys know, so too. you need <laughs> to talk about, do you guys believe in aliens or not? I'm, a, I believe in aliens myself, but... Uh, probably not like abductions and stuff like that. I, I be I believe I definitely believe in aliens. Mm -hmm. And do you want, I believe honestly I believe in all of it. You believe in all of it? Yeah. yeah I'm talking like Loch Ness monster, <laughs> Sasquatch, uh, d aliens, yeah. everything, everything. I'm pretty that's picky. A conspiracy theory. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty picky when it comes to stuff. The eye of Sauron, like mm, I'm. But you just like to be the devil's advocate, so. Well, okay, that is I mean, fair. You're gonna believe in it because other people don't. Obviously, <laughs> I think so. But I mean, yeah. I believe the same. Aliens are real, or at least in my opinion. Yeah, obviously. You know? Yeah, they have to be. But abductions and stuff, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, aliens coming down and making shapes in cornfields, like. Maybe, but also, like, can't you just go around the cornfield with, like, a tractor They've been proven and mow some down before. and make a, People make have a gone design? People and cut them. Uh, have you seen the thing where uh, uh, they're trying to send us signals through the cornfields? Through, through the, the, yeah. Through the yeah. cornfield, yeah. Yeah. But what if it's Apparently. just some <laughs> messed up <laughs> farmer that's got psychological problems? I mean, I believe in but aliens, but... he couldn't but just do it overnight. I mean, if you Maybe. have a good group you of people, you probably can. have enough people and enough oh, tractors, might as well. Might, you're right. Might as well ruin my crop. <laughs> okay, well, if Just they can abduct uh, <laughs> us, why can't we abduct them? My problem is we've never captured an alien. Yeah. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> that you know We're going to get into the activity right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the it's government might be lying to us. Homes. They always do. You guys so. are going to try to figure out. I'm going to show you a picture of an alien, and you guys are going to tell me the name of the alien <laughs> and what Fantas is from. Okay. Right. okay. Let's so who's it. that? That is Mr. Spock. Obviously. He is from the planet Vulcan. Oh, he is. Yeah. Extra points. Next yeah. guy. Who, who's no that? Idea. Who's that pretty boy? Binks from the planet Naboo. Ooh, the pretty You're boy from Star Wars. <laughs> yes. A nerd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's that guy? Superman from the planet Krypton. Yep. You couldn't even let me get the easy one. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Uh, um, what's her name? I don't go. Her name? That's that's Alien, and he's from uh, Prometheus. Why Prometheus. can't it be a she? Huh? What specifically the is the species name? Do you know the uh, name of the species? I I don't. I you don't? don't. No, I don't. Anyway. I actually forgot. All right. So who's that little dude? I cannot. No, that's Marvin the Martian. Yep, obviously. He's, <laughs> he's from now, Mars. Now on to the next person. This is. Yeah. That's a semi. 
Yes, it is a semi. That's a Peter belt. <laughs> <laughs> I win, right? Baby, it's Optimus Prime. Yes, you win. Damn it. <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs> Optimus Prime. Huh? So, uh, who's that? <laughs> Go. Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. What's uh, the name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name from Rocky Horror Picture oh, Show? Oh, I don't know. You know, I you can't. should know this. Time's up. Who's oh, this guy? Damn it. Uh, dang it. Um, oh, that's uh, from uh, Spaceballs. Yep. What's yeah. his name? Uh, he's <laughs> he <laughs> uses the farce. <laughs> <laughs> yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah, you yeah, got, yogurt. It. Yogurt. got it. Yeah, yogurt. Good job. I don't know that one and who's at all. <laughs> E.T.? No. Damn it. Obviously not. I actually wrong. don't. I don't think I know this one. All right. Anyway, that's, that's time's up. You sad. guys got a good amount. Very good amount. Yeah, that was I'm sad. I didn't know that. I got the Specifically, semi, right? the alien is a xenomorph. That's what they're called. Oh. Anyway, but You're that's right. it for this activity. When we come back, we'll be talking about the planet Earth and its weird facts. Oh, Earth. In Northern Texas, the SPCA has made an effort to rescue livestock animals from abusive homes. These animals deserve happy, free lives, and you can help. They're kind, caring, and looking for a new home. If you're interested in taking in a new friend, contact the number or visit our site to learn more. Don't wait. Call now and help give these wonderful animals a new life. G-Drive Mini, a high-performance hard drive, built for the professional and used by everyone. Photographers use G-Drive Mini in the field to store their images. Filmmakers rely on G-Drive Mini to move footage from set to post. And audio pros capture sound directly to the drive. But really, it's for anybody who wants a high-performance hard drive with the reliability of a solid aluminum enclosure. G-Drive Mini, the professional choice for everybody. Hey guys, welcome back to Hey Man, where we talk about stuff and new things. This time we're talking about what weird geography. Alright, so I'm going to test you guys of what you guys know. I'm going to list out a specific country or place, and you guys are going to tell me some weird facts about it. Alright. Let's do it. Yeah. So first place we're going to talk about is Japan. What weird facts do you guys know about Japan? Go. You take this one. Japan? Um, I know their Komodos are really comfortable. I've worn a real <laughs> We need Japan. weird facts. We need yeah. them That's spicy That's a weird things. fact. It's Have you weird. ever worn a Komodo? Yeah, I don't worn think a so. Like a real fact. one from Japan. You keep saying like Komodo like Komodo dragon. <laughs> Go away. It's kim <laughs> Komono. <laughs> I, right. I know they have... Uh, Used panty vending machines. Used panty vending machines. Yeah, yeah. Th they have vending machines for everything. 
Yeah, they, just donate. Use yeah. panties, though? Yep, Do use you panties. You pick your category, yeah. like granny panties, boxer briefs, like boy panties, thongs. Like, are there yeah. categories? Yeah, just what categories. You just real? don't, girls just and donate kind of their panties. panties. Like, is it like period right. panties or is it like it's mid, every, any kind of mid panty. of the month, like ovulating any, As panties. long as it was used. I wore these for a little too long. I thought long. that was yeah. only I for like for men in prison. I didn't know they had vending machines in Japan yeah. for that. Anyway, next yeah. place. What is some weird stuff you guys know about Spain? Spain. Um, I don't really, I don't know that much about Spain. No, no, I just wonder Spain. how many people got their asses gored by bulls. By the women and the bulls? Yeah. Every single one of them. It happens. It's the king. <laughs> it just happens. It's just right up the ass. All right. How about weird <laughs> fact from India? India. Yes. Uh, people still shit in the street there. Yep. <laughs> well, because they have no a, other that's option. That's a weird fact. Well, I, I, give them a give them an excuse. Come on. I'm not saying that's. I'm just saying that's a thing they do. <laughs> All right. Weird <laughs> fact I mean, we about it. Brazil. Brazil. Um, yes. Women with big asses. Oh really? <laughs> is, that, is that a fact or I, is that just? Well, a, I guess it's a fact. I like yeah. their All birds. Right. Is that, that a weird fact? No, that's just something, something that you like. Yeah. Anyway, uh, how about a weird fact from Germany? Germany. The legal drinking age is 16, and they got it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> they got it going on. They teach their kids how to drink, not not to drink like America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, speaking of America, weird facts about America. Weird. Um, our president's Donald Trump, and that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is a weird fact. That is a very weird that's fact. That's pretty weird. <laughs> Celebrity Donald Trump president. Anyway, weird, weird fact about about let's go with italy italy everyone just rides mopeds yes mopeds i don't know if that's a fact but I it's just, a fact that's how i imagine it's one it of the most head. uncool I things they know do. How people in italy just, are so attractive and so skinny because pasta is so fattening i mean they're all mm. greasy too well they're using those carbs <laughs> I guess to ride their motorcycle. I don't think they have TV there. I think that's the weird fact is they just just kind of do stuff. They just they wander just around, pick and up women, and eat and, pasta. Yeah, on their mopeds, like chow, right. and then like. So that's yeah. it for weird facts. You guys know plenty of weird stuff from different places. I definitely <laughs> do. We <enjoy> though? <laughs> I definitely enjoyed the panty part. Yeah, when we come back, That's we'll be talking part. about something a bit more heated, having to do with movies, specifically prequels, sequels, and remakes. So if you guys will enjoy that, how about you guys? Let's I do definitely. it. Hey guys, welcome back to Hey Man, where we talk about stuff and do things. This time we're talking about movies. Specifically, what do you guys think about sequels, prequels, and the eventual remake? Me personally, I'm alright with sequels. Prequels are a bit eh. I feel like they're a bit too limiting. And remakes, I'm not the biggest fan of most of them. Most of them just kind of suck. What do you got? What about you guys? I I think that I think remakes, I hate remakes. 
Remakes I, kind most, of suck, yeah. yeah most, most of them are pretty most bad. Of them, most of them suck. Yeah. I mean, we're getting yeah. this. I we're mean, getting how many Spider-Mans? Tobey Maguire, right? Yeah. Like, he should have been the only Spider-Man, right? I mean, I'm fine with Tom Holland. Him? Yeah? I love Tom Holland. He's yeah? my favorite Spider-Man. Is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's my favorite well, portrayal on the screen. At least. I mean, yeah. Well, at least yeah, they made him look like a high schooler. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, Instead of yeah, Toby you're McCryer. Right. You're right. Yeah. Okay, that's you know, that's fair. Yeah. What about other sequels stuff? Sequels are pretty cool. Sequels are somewhat cool. It depends on the sequel, though. Yeah, some sequels are way out there. Yeah, some shouldn't have gone there, but <laughs> some just to continue to, like, to own all the DVDs. Yeah. And just like, sit down and binge watch them all. Yeah. Eight hours out of your day, it's worth it for some. I mean, Star Wars, obviously. Yeah, yeah it, has, that's like, it has. It has the prequels and it has. If you're watching all the story. They shouldn't have done Caddyshack too, though. Caddyshack too, yeah. Yeah, mm. that's you know. That that's was a bit garbage. iffy. <laughs> prequels. It's cool to see where the. Now that I know it's a xenomorph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now that I know that, but yeah, right. Yeah. Let's get into activity. This activity, I'm just gonna call it leave my movie alone. I'm gonna give you guys uh I'm gonna show you guys a movie and then you guys I'm gonna say either make a prequel and a sequel, you guys are gonna tell me what that prequel or sequel is gonna be about. So okay. first off, make a sequel out of in- inception. A sequel out of inception? Oh, yes. Okay. I um. Do you no. have you seen the movie? Yeah, okay, but it's so, been a minute. Yeah. So it ends with the spin. Yeah, the, it ends with the spin. The top, the spinning, right? Yeah. So and the next movie starts with it. And next I movies, think it's just that. The next movie starts the with the whole movie. Yeah, and, and just then keeps going just for at two it, hours. And then everybody <laughs> just contemplating whether it was a dream or not. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now make That's a. It. What's what will a prequel of the Goonies be like? Prequel for the Goonies, guys. They're, they're, their parents. It's a porno. It's a porno. Yeah. No. You can only find it on Pornhub, guys. Yeah, so it's inappropriate. Their, no, it's their parents fucking. Just and them they fucking. they made the Goonies. <laughs> All right. It now. even shows the birth. Oh, that's, gosh. That's the worst part. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely going to be a pretty that's bad one. That's the climax, <laughs> as you would say. Good one right there. As All you right. would say. What about this next movie, guys? <laughs> What about the next movie? Yeah, what about the next movie? <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I couldn't even imagine that. I yeah, just a porno of That would just be the worst I saw. Just All everything. right, how about you guys make a sequel for 127 hours? How what will the sequel be like? about 152 hours? Because that sounds a lot better than 127 James hours. Franco's stuck there for even longer? Yeah, 152 <laughs> hours sounds yeah, like the yeah. thing. He's just like that. 127? Okay. There's a coyote <laughs> now gnawing on his leg. Now he lost his legs. Yeah, he just... He just All right, how about this next movie? All right, you guys are going to make a sequel out of School of Rock. How would that be? You can't. You can't yes, make a sequel out of that? I mean, you can't. maybe you could. It's just Jack Black is his own. Yeah, it's so hard. Anything yeah. Jack Black does to sequel All that. Right. School of Cock. School of Cock. <laughs> no! Another porno. It's another porno. All right. How about no, a prequel for Clueless? How would that go? Um, dumb blonde bitches don't know what's going down. <laughs> like, that's every day of my life, though. So, I mean, there's a sequel of that every day of my life at work. It's just all, right. it's just all it's just How about all this clueless. next movie? Yeah, I mean. Make a sequel for Old Ye- Yellow. Um... They bring, they actually bring him back to life. Bring him back from the dead. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> and then they kill a, him again. He's a zombie dog. <laughs> zombie and dog. And he starts the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> With the dog? Is the yeah. dog As a zombie the dog. itself? Yeah, the dog the is dog himself is a zombie. The dog is a zombie dog. Great movie okay, right there. I, get it. I would definitely yeah. watch that. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I just think movies, uh, if they're based Hope off of books, enjoyed. you're going to have to be careful. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this segment, guys. When we come back. Um, what do we have when we come back? I forget. (laughs) (laughs) Here at MediaTek, our goal is to create a well-rounded media professional. MediaTek is a place where you can turn dreams into reality. Our comprehensive recording arts, digital film, animation, mobile apps, and web development courses are focused on being very hands-on. We are a career-focused school. Our instructors are not only great teachers, 
They are also working professionals with real-world experience. MediaTek, come see what your future holds. All right, and that's all the time that we have for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, man, well, we talked about stuff and we did things, and there's actually been nothing in here. I've lied to you all. Anyway. Thank you. Yeah, definitely had a great time. Great laughs.